Hello, KW agents, and welcome to the video on how to correctly upload or create all of your files within .loop, submit to the Market Center, and get you paid. So from the home page here, we're going to go to the My Transactions section. Now, some of you will have right underneath here where it will say Start e-transactions. Some of you will have this up here, which is the drop-down menu. Both of them take you to the same place. So we're just going to click right here where it says Start New Transactions or Start e-transactions. They're both the same. And that's going to take you to the home page of dot .loop. So remember, when you hear dot .loop and My Transactions, we're referring to the same system. Dot Loop is the software provider. My Transactions is what we call it here at KW. So remember, we need to create a new loop whenever we have a sale, either a new listing or a new contract when we're working with buyers. So to create a loop, we're just going to click this big plus sign right here, and that's going to create a new loop. Then you'll see a box pops up like this where it says a loop is a workspace for your transactions or projects. Uh, now we always need to name the loop the address. Remember you get paid off of addresses so that's what we need to see here. Not Smith Family or Jones New Listing. We need to know the full address. So for this we're going to name it 123 Get Paid Avenue. We're going to say that this is in Orlando and that the zip is 32801. And then we have a really important thing right here. This is where you choose the templates. So templates are pre-built form, basically form sets for you uh, that we have created on the brokerage level. So you would just click right here where it says select a template and then you can choose either a listing template. This is when you're first taking a listing or a sale template. This is when you have a contract when you are working with only the buyers. We're going to choose sale. So we're just going to click directly on that and then we're going to click right here where it says create loop and that's going to create the loop for us. We'll give it just a moment to do that because it has to pull all of the documents and create that new loop for you. And then that will take you within the actual loop. So you'll see we have all of the documents here that we might need. Now we have found at a broker level that it's significantly easier for us to add all of the documents that you could potentially need rather than have you go in and search for them. So we've got the file checklist and then we do have the residential contract for sale and purchase as well as the as is. You're obviously only going to need one of these so archive what you don't need. So let's say that we did not need this one, we did not need HOA, and it was not a condo, we would just click the boxes next to the documents that we don't need. We're going to get rid of a bunch of them. And then once we've clicked next to what we don't need, you will see up here at the top of the page all of these options appear. What we want to do is archive what we don't need. So once we archive that, we're going to get this really quick flash that says nine documents were archived. So now we only have the true documents that we really need for this particular transaction. Now this is the point that we can go one of two ways. Uh, we could have clients e-sign the document, so we would want to fill everything out online so they could electronically sign it, or we can go in and we can print all of the documents and have them physically sign it. I am going to show you if you wanted to do the e-signature, the easiest way to do it. You would just click right here where it says view details. You would click on that. And then that takes you to the back office portion. So this is where you can go in and you can fill everything out about this particular loop. So you would add the person, buyers or sellers, first name, last name, as well as an email address. And then you would fill out every other piece that you know about this transaction. What this does is it allows you to enter the information just once here, and then it will transfer all of that data into all of the documents that you have in that particular loop. So once you've filled out everything that you know about this transaction, don't forget to hit the save button and then you can go back into the loop 
and it will allow you to go in and edit those forms. Now I'm getting an error message. That's because I didn't really fill anything out, but we'll go back into the loop and then you could click directly on whatever form you want to go into first and then you'll see the forms just show up right here. Now we would have buyer one, buyer two because we added them in the screen previous and then we would assign those fields. That's what tells them exactly where they need to sign or initial in the contract. And then you'll see you can still go in here and type anything additional that you need to. Make sure that you're always saving any of your work, so anything that you're doing. And then we would just go back to the loop. We're not going to share these yet because I recommend sharing them as a packet. So we're going to hit no for that. And then you'll see everything right there. So let's just say for the sake of time that we have filled everything out here directly. We've sent it to our buyer or our seller. They have signed off on it. And now we are ready to submit this to the market center for review. Because remember, until you've done that, we have no idea that you have a loop. We don't enter it into our system and we don't create a DA for you. So just click right up here where it says submit for review and then you will enter a closing date. So we'll say the 24th and then we're going to enter that property address just one more time to make sure that's correct. So we did one, two, three, get, oops, see, one, two, three just goes there. Then the street name goes right here, get paid Avenue. And then we're going to hit next. Sorry about that, there we go. And then we're gonna hit Orlando, Florida, 32801. Then we're gonna hit next. And then you'll see it pops up which whatever documents that you need to submit. So we do need to submit the sales contract documents. Down here is where you could include a message for Jim Lowe or your MCA or assistant MCA, any details that you needed to send to them. And then right over here is the submit build button. So make sure that you are always hitting that. So those are really all of the steps. Once you've done all of that, it flags us that there's something in the system. It goes through compliance and we enter it into our system. So you will see up here is an activity log. That's within every loop. So that will show you everything that you've done since you've created that loop. So if you're wondering, did I really submit that for review? This is what you want to look for, compliance review right here. That lets you know that it's been submitted. It'll have a date over here and it'll have a time. So this will show you a running activity log ever since you created that loop. So I hope that answered some questions. I hope you guys feel like you are pretty confident with dot loop. Uh, if you have any questions or need any other help, feel free to let me know. And remember, my classes are always uh, welcome to all of you. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.